Here we have a classic mini, fully restored, down to every screw, nut and bolt, orange and black, sports pack, fiberglass arches, twin can Fletcher exhaust, as you can see, and that goes straight out on the underneath to the front, new subframes, a little bit dirty underneath, not a chance to clean under there yet. This is like a side view. See the shine in the paint, the wheels sticking out of the front. These are uh, 6x12 rose petals, gunmetal grey, stainless steel polished rim. And uh, now for the engine bay. First of all, just look at that. Look at the chrome. I've got the uh, Yokohama A480 tyres. Is it A480? Let's have a look. A4, A408, my mistake. Apologise, blue calipers, disc brakes on the front, drums on the back, but we've got the alley fins, what are on the, originally on the Cooper. Another modification. Now the car does look pretty low, but I'll let you into one thing, it's that low. The jack will not go underneath it. Now the car's got a full leather interior, matching the, uh, the colour of the car. Blue pedals, does need a bit of a clean inside, I will admit. I've got a three clock dash. Now, the dash that's in it was a walnut dash off a Mini Cooper MPI, but we changed it. I wanted it, uh, this is like a satin black with a gloss black clocks around. It's got a steering lock on it because of uh, thieves. Center console, that gear knob has to go. Let's look at that. Chrome, new headliner. Grey, opening rear windows, rear seat belts, chairs. Now uh, I'll pop this seat forward for you. That'd be a bit hard on my own, just one second. There you go. You can see in the back, matching colour seats. I'm going to put some 6 9 uh, speakers out, and as you can see, looking at that, uh, the CD player does yet have to go in. But I'm having a bit of trouble if it keeps popping a fuse. As you can see it's going to go there, little glove box. Now the best bit is the engine. Let's just uh, close that. Pop this up. Uh, okay. This is the engine. Give me one second. Uh, pop this up. And that's the engine bay. Totally fully restored. Um, I've had it done blue. A new coil. Everything's new. I've even had um, the uh, alternator parts blue, all blue brackets, blue track rod ends, and everything underneath. I'll show you those in a sec. All of it just totally restored. It doesn't need a clean. Everything totally restored. Now, the guy that's responsible for this is a guy that runs by this name. His company's called Thermacote, but his name's Ollie Clark. If you want to make any inquiries, UK based obviously, phone that number and yeah. Tell him what you want and he'll agree a price and sort you one out. Now uh grab a look underneath and you can see all this has been done blue, it's a bit muddy, that's not rust. This car is hundred percent rust free. I've had the backs of the calipers chromed, blue track red ends, deep dish wheels, and then if I just dismount the camera off my arm, pull it out to the knife. I don't know if you can see the underneath. But there's the stainless steel exhaust, the uh, twin manifold branches going into three. Now is the grill. <sighs> Sorry about the moans and groans. And there's the manifold at the back there, I don't know if you can see it. Everything just totally, totally restored. 12 by 6 wheels, wide arches. Black roof, orange car, yeah, the door's not shut properly. Uh, and there you go. And it sounds mint. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Any quotes, any comments, anything you want doing on a mini, it doesn't have to be a restoration, any mini work, email me. Or oh, then again, phone that number. Thanks.